Hey dads, looking for an easy to use router? I've got one here that I've been using for the past probably 10 years, nine years maybe, eight years, somewhere around there, eight to 10 years. <laughs> and it's been great for me, so I figured I'd do a little review of it for you guys. But first of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. That thumbs up button's always appreciated too if you want to hook that up. Look, it's right about over here, I think. It might be over here, over there. I don't remember where it's at. But uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about about the router that I have, and it is just an Airport Extreme. Um, this is, like I said, I got it back way back when, so I don't know what year it is or what model it is or any of that. Uh, I'm looking for a model number on here, and I don't see one. But uh, it's Airport, oh wait, model number. A1143, if that helps any of you guys. But uh, really easy to use, very uh, slim design. Reminds me of their little super drive things, just a little bit taller. Uh, it's got uh, three ethernet ports that you can connect to, connect uh, other things to. And then you have, of course, your internet line coming in through right there. This right here is your power uh, source. You plug in your power cord right into there, which they give you, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then they give you a USB port here as well, which you can network up like a printer or a hard drive or something like that. If you do do a hard drive, you can turn this into a time capsule if you're on a Mac product where it automatically backs up all your stuff. Uh, I really don't use this. I would like it if I could plug in a hard drive to that and uh, Plex could be able to read it, but for some reason they can't make that happen. I guess if I plugged it in through there, networked it to my computer, and then let my computer run the server to host it onto my Plex, but that'd be, that's a whole different video. Why are we even talking about that? <laughs> but, um, I don't, I think this is the reset right here. I'm not 100% sure on what exactly this is. On the front, there's just a simple light right here, and the light, whenever you're connected to the internet, is green. Whenever it's trying to connect to the internet, it's blinking orange. And whenever it's having issues connecting to the internet, it's orange, just solid orange. So that's uh, that's the only three colors that I've seen so far, so I don't know if there's any others. Um, but like I said, I... You, oh wait, let me go into the cord real quick. So it's one of these brick cords. It's not very big. What I do like about it though is that they give you... Let me see, let me double that over. I'm six feet tall, so this is... Gosh, that's gotta be at least 10 feet on this side of the brick. And then you unplug that right there. So you got another, however long this is. Six, probably seven feet, if I had to guess. So all in all, you're getting 17 feet of cord, which is <laughs> honestly probably a little overkill. I don't know if we need to go that long, but, uh, but they do give you plenty of cord here to be able to plug it into if you need to get it to a certain area or if you need a certain spot, if you want to have it like up top somewhere and you got to run a cord all the way down. I mean, they give you enough to go pretty much across in almost an entire room. So uh, a lot of cord room there. Um, as far as setup, if I remember correctly, I plugged it in. I plugged in the ethernet cord, I plugged in the power, and then my computer recognized it with airport utilities and it pretty much just popped up right away. I do notice though, uh, you know, it stays in our living room and whenever I'm out in the yard, we have kind of a large yard. Um, not that large, but eh, I don't know how much, how many it is, how many acres it is or anything, or it's not even an acre, less, I mean, I don't know how big it is. <laughs> but whenever I'm across the yard, I do notice that signal drop is, is there and so uh, it's just a matter of distance. But I think it's also a matter of, we have, it's a brick house, so I think the bricks are kind of hindering that. It'd be nice to get some kind of like a repeater thing or whatever that I could plug in outside so we could get some better internet outside. But all in all, I really do like this. Like I said, I've had it for almost a decade now, I'd say, and it stood the test of time. It really looks great, fairly clean, sleek. Um, it sits just on our little table right there and it does its job. 
I never really had any problems with it. I connected my wife. She has a Windows PC. I've got a MacBook Pro. We've got a Roku. We got iPads, iPhones. We have a, the Android tablet that I've reviewed before. Um, we've had entertainment systems connected to it. You know, Xbox, Wii, all that type of stuff. We've had many things connected to it. Never had any type of problem with it. If we did usually have a problem with it, like orange light blinking, it's usually on the end of the provider who's providing us the internet. Internet. So uh, I really like it. it. Seems to work for me. I'd be curious to know if you guys have ever used an Airport Extreme before or what kind of router do you use? Let me know that down in the comments below and let me know why you like it and why you don't like it. Let's have a little dialogue down there. Some of the best information comes from you guys down in the comments below. So feel free to spew your heart out about routers down there and we'll talk about it. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all want more of our videos, there's more right there on the screen. I'd love it if you clicked and watched more of the dad reviews. Make sure to click that subscribe button right there in the middle if you want more of our videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If there's another product that you guys want us to review here on the channel, let me know what it is down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get it for you. Thank you guys for watching. Dad out.